Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 55th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can update data in a MySQL table. So the query that we use or the SQL statement that we use to uh, perform this operation is the update query and uh, it works in this way. So we created a table a uh, couple of tutorials ago and we called it student underscore info and in the last tutorial we used the insert into query, you know the one that you can see on screen to insert uh, you know these values in a row in the table. So I also have the results side opened up from the last tutorial So, you know, these are the values that we inserted, we, uh, you know, the ID field currently has the value 1 name has the value John uh, gender has the value male and email has the value uh, John at gmail.com and DOB has the value 1986 uh, uh, January 25th, right? So let's say you want to change the date of birth of John, you know, suppose uh, there was an error in uh, getting information from John and he was born in 1987 and not in 1986. So the way you do that is you type in update and then you type in the name of the table that you want to update. So which in this case is going to be student underscore info. And then on the next line, you type in you know, uh, the field that you want to update, but before that you type in the keyword set. So you want to set DOB to the value. So you type in the assignment operator after typing in the field name. And then uh, since you want to change the DOB field, which is of date type, and as I said in the last tutorial, you know, all date values have to be provided within single quotes as strings. So you want to change uh, the DOB to 1987 and uh, January 25th. So 01 slash 25. This is what you want to change uh, the date to DOB to. So, you know, you type in this value and uh, another thing that you have to do with the update query is you'll have to use the where clause and, uh, you know, tell uh, MySQL that you want to do this. You want to perform this operation only for the field, uh, you know, for which the value of ID is one right or something unique about this field because you know there could be uh, a couple of records or you know like 15 20 records and if you would execute this query just the way it is at the moment then it's going to update all the records and it's going to set the value uh, you know this value for dob in all rows and you wouldn't want that so you know although in this case it's not going to make uh, any difference because we just have one record but if you had two three records and if you would have executed this query you know dob of all guys would have been changed to 1987 january 20, uh, 25th so on the next line you type in where and then you type in id equals one right so in case you're wondering why i haven't enclosed id within single quotes here it's because id is uh, an integer field so you know all numeric values have to be passed in as in as is i mean and you know you don't have to provide uh, numeric values within single quotes so i'll put a semicolon at the end and when i press control enter again the result set vanishes but in the output section i see the message one row was affected and uh, if i would execute the select star from student underscore info query again i would see this time that the dob for john has been changed to 1987 january 25th right so update statement can actually be complicated you know because uh, i mean first of all you have to be careful while using the statement you know if you would work in an organization then uh, your uh, manager or whoever is in charge of uh, you know the project is actually going to be very uh, you know uh, careful about assigning privileges to you because you know update operation and delete operation if you perform those operations and you know you don't uh, if you can roll back the changes, then, you know, your data is gone. I mean, you know, if you use delete particularly, then it's completely lost. And even with update, you know, if you don't remember what was the previous value, then in a way you've lost your information. So you have to be careful. And uh, if you've committed changes, then as I said, you can't roll back. And uh, it's it can also be a tricky statement to understand. So in case uh, you have any doubts, then you can leave your comments or you can check out uh, my tutorials on SQL in which I've discussed this statement in detail, right? So I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.